we're also coming into a really critical vote and I wanted to tap into your trade experience on this. A critical vote in Europe on increasing the tariffs on Chinese EVs. I'm just wondering how you're assessing the current negotiations between the EU and China on this. Well, uh, here again, uh, the world of EVs is very different than the world of classical uh, combustion vehicles in that uh, China is the leader. It has huge overcapacities, which create a big export need on the China side. This big EV leadership has been built largely on subsidization, uh, and we, they have to cope with other systems like US, like Europe, like Japan, like Korea, like Turkey. Uh, who are not state run. So on the one side, we have a big push by China to export. On the other side, we have markets uh, for EVs uh, that are now quasi closed for Chinese EVs, US, Japan, Korea, Turkey. EU cannot remain the only big car market uh, for uh, Chinese exports, which are subsidized. So. What EU is doing is uh, applying uh, WTO rules. Uh, if uh, goods are sold at a subsidized price, you are allowed by WTO rules to compensate this subsidization with a tariff. And this is uh, what the EU is uh, doing. Whether this will moderate and lead, for instance, China to invest more into uh, Europe, including in transferring the necessary technologies uh, remain to be seen. But to put it very simply, EU cannot remain the only big deep market open uh, to subsidize uh, Chinese uh, electric vehicles. Just to challenge you on that point though, the critics might say that the risk here simply is not worth the reward. Of course, China also retains the right to retaliate if this vote does indeed go ahead, right? I believe, and that's my own view, that in imposing anti-subsidy tariffs, the EU is following WTO rules. If China is not happy with that, China will have to go to the WTO and ask for a dispute uh, settlement uh, operation. But China cannot unilaterally retaliate if the measures the EU is taking are WTO compliant. So it sounds like you could perhaps be in favor of these higher tariffs. I'm just curious to get a sense on the overall implication on domestic industry if we also saw this going ahead. You've, you've almost dismissed the retaliation risk from China. So what would be the impact on the ground in Europe if we saw those higher tariffs coming into effect? Oh, I think, uh, again, we have to look at the uh, car industry with EVs with different lens than the way we look at the traditional uh, combustion engine system. What matters a lot in an EV, if you look at the value of the car, is batteries. And it's absolutely true that China has gained a big comparative advantage and is ahead of others uh, in uh, battery production, not least because they have successfully controlled part of the access to critical materials uh, which uh, batteries need to equip a future electric vehicle. So it's not just a question of how much for how much, it's also a question of building properly and if possible cooperatively the value chains of the car industry in the world of tomorrow. This has to do with hardware, batteries, the wheels which you need uh, uh, to carry the batteries which carry car passengers, 